Brain Brain leak. leak. Big day yesterday, okay? Big day yesterday. Huge day. Massive opening to this episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sean's big day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Three cheers for the little guy. Hip, hip. Hooray. We went hip, hip. to... No, Hooray. one is enough. All we right. went to... Who needs three <laughs> cheers? What kind of yeah. narcissistic twathead needs three cheers? Well, who... How many people ask for cheers for themselves? Usually it's like, three cheers for this guy. But why three? So it'd just be like, um, everyone, give it up four. Woo. I don't know. Anyway, we went out and got a roast on a Saturday instead of a Sunday. Ooh. We went to a garden center uh, with PJ and Sophie. Epic. Uh -huh. Fucking Carvery. Got the works. Full as uh -huh. a bus. Uh -huh. Then went to an arts and craft store. Uh -huh. Fucking awesome. I forget why I was telling this story. <laughs> because you had a big day. You had a big day. It was Saturday. Oh, yeah. And then after that, we watched Godfather Part 2. I've now seen uh -huh. the first two Godfather movies, which I've never seen before. Massive. Then I got charcuterie afterwards because he was eating like cheeses and meats in the movie. Got red oh. wine. Dude, I was ready to jisms. Oh, are you excited to watch The God Par Father Part 3? The God Parter 3? <laughs> uh, not really. We were like, let's not watch that one because everyone says it's bad. But I feel like we need to yeah, round out the fair. story. Yeah, I haven't seen The Godfather Part 3. And I haven't seen the first two Godfathers since I was a child. So I should watch them again because I don't really remember much other than the horse in the bed. Yeah. Kind of we were watching and I forgot that that came from The Godfather because I'd seen it in everything else over uh, the years. And then it, it, they cut to the guy's bed and I was like, he has a horse. <laughs> it's the scene. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> like the meme, like, <laughs> watch. Did you go to the same place that we went and got the roast? No, that was, that was a much better place uh, mm. that we went to because that was like an actual pub. I think of that place fondly. It was so small. It was yeah. so small in there. Like a little so hobbit teeny, house. Tiny, so cozy. A I've never been roast. so cozy in my life. Oh. Really? God. You, you got that cozy with us? Yeah, it was so cozy. I was like, oh, wow. And there was a fire right next to me. It actually, at one point, it got a little too cozy because I started sweating from all the, yeah. all the roast. It's like when you, <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> you got the meat sweats. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you're a kid and you like sit in front of the fire and you're like, this is kind of like drying out my eyeballs, but I'm just going to stay here. And it's like, mm -hmm. my face feels like crackled uh, pork skin. <laughs> yeah, this is not good for me anymore, but it's fine and cozy. I used to sit in front of our fireplace when I was a kid and just like have my fucking ass right to it. And then mm. whenever it was time to stop, my mother would just go, you're burning. <laughs> <laughs> it smelled like <laughs> I must have been a liar because my pants were on fire. Oh, uh -huh, baby. Brain leak! Sean, out there, there's some creepy criminals that uh, have got your information. They've got all your stuff, all right? And they're posting it all over the place. Oh, you don't I... want that, do you? No, I don't like that. No, you don't. You know, data brokers, they sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone who may want to target you. Your full email, your full name, your your health records, your relatives' health records, their address, everything. It's I don't even know my health, I my health records and my relatives' health records. I don't know, but I do. But you can't find mine because I've been using Aura. The sponsor of today's episode, all right? Wow. Or shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. I don't have to go in there and say, hey, take down this stuff. Aura does it all for me, all right? Oh, and it's really easy to set up. So I don't have to download several different apps to get things like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more. I get everything at one affordable price. That's right. Listen, you may already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking the front door and leaving the back door <laughs> wide open, Dude, baby. my back door is so open. Mm. <laughs> but <laughs> Listen, Aura's always on doing the hard work of keeping me safe. It can keep you safe. And I can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. I want to be safe. I'm going to be safe. Yeah. I'm going to go to Aura.com slash brain leak. Yeah. 
That's right. Aura.com slash brain leak. Value your privacy like I value your privacy. Yeah. Stop data brokers from exposing your personal information. Get a 14-day free trial and see how much of yours is being sold. You deserve it. You deserve good things. Aura.com slash brain leak. <laughs> Have you ever set yourself on fire? No. By accident? Like self-immolation? Yeah, like you accidentally burned yourself. L like burned yourself as in there was a flame upon you. Um, yeah. With like deodorant cans. <laughs> you lit yourself on fire with deodorant cans? Yeah, when you were a kid and you get a lighter and a deodorant can, you go... Oh, And you're like, whoa, yeah. that's awesome. That and then it was like... Let's spray it on my hand and see if it works. <laughs> Turns out it does. <laughs> Don't do it. We're professional do idiots. I never did that when I was... I did the deodorant thing, but I was never brave enough to put it on my hand. But I did... I did mm. um, have someone light me on fire shortly after Creator Clash. There was like a little, little party that... Uh, Everybody got together and had a little party and there were people there that were doing fire stuff. And then they were like, does anyone want to volunteer? We'll light part of you on fire and we'll put it out. And I was like, I'll do it. You just did <laughs> yourself. It's probably fine. I just won a boxing match. I'm invincible right now. Light me on fire. Go ahead. Go for it. Go ahead. Him. See if you can light these Steelers on flame. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It was so cool. What did you get lit on fire? Uh, my crotch. I got my crotch lit on fire. Ooh, I was going to joke at your self cock fire. Yeah, cock fire, dude. It's oh, crazy. That's cool. I wish my cock yeah, was on was, fire. It was kind of it was kind of crazy and fun. I want to do a video where I go and see a stunt person, and I want to get my whole body lit on fire. I don't think you're allowed to do that. No, you I, can't. I think you need lots of training. No, no, no. They put you in the thing and then they, you know, there's a whole thing. There's a whole thing to it. There's a whole Wait, thing. can you actually do that? Yeah. Because I feel Other like done it. inhaling flame is bad and you need to be like trained to. I think. <sighs> I think I like this little life. <laughs> do you breathe when stunt men are lit on fire? Isn't it like the heat? <laughs> like you can't breathe because the heat will go into your fucking lungs and burn your bronchioles uh, interesting how do you you just people? said i want to go get lit on fire and now you're like can you <laughs> breathe fire because <laughs> there's also like okay like petrol chemical kerosene or whatever they light you with yeah well they they put like a big gel all over your body that makes yeah. it so you don't get burnt so when stunt performers are lit on fire, they wear a special clothing which, in, which insulates them from the fire. Similar what uh, this man did. As a feather, that's not really <laughs> better. Feather, feather. Usually it is a flammable liquid or a gel that is used and it is the fumes form that it is burning off. So for the first few seconds, you don't feel much. After that, you are relying on the protective clothing. The stunt per, uh, person would also not want to be breathing in any superheated gases from the fire, so they may have to use a face piece as well. Oh. Interesting. So don't really? breathe. Don't breathe flame. Well, I did have an idea for today. Okay. I thought... Uh, 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 I have to find the thing. I, I have thought, never you know, heard you think before. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. Okay. Actually, I have heard myself think before. Every time I think, I'm making some sort of noise or making some weird face, and then That's there's true. not really a lot of thinking going on. It's mostly It's usually just your other side of you that's British comes out. <laughs> dead. It, it's just kind of a... It's like a weird purgatory that my brain goes to. I can I can slip into it so easily where there's... <laughs> You're doing it right there. now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. What I was going to say was... <laughs> I've been an asshole before. You've been an asshole before. Everyone around us has been assholes before. We've all been assholes, okay? Uh -huh. So why not peruse the internet and look at a couple of posts from a uh, very, very popular subreddit called I Am, am I her. the Ass? I am an asshole. Am I the asshole? A Reddit subreddit. Where people post, hey, here's the scenario. Am I the asshole here? Uh, 
Yeah, usually it's like, please don't, please tell me I'm not the asshole. Oh, please, for the love of God, I don't want to be a bad guy. I kicked my dog are. when he came down with tuberculosis. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Am I the asshole? Please. The top so. one for the day is, am I the asshole for divorcing my husband because he's extremely overweight? What's the all-time one? <laughs> what is the all-time one? Hold on, wait. Am I, the, am I the asshole for telling my husband I told you so and laughing at me when we got the paternity test results? Oh, that's some real yeah. shit. Okay, so top of all time is, am I the asshole for telling my wife the lock on my daughter's door does not get removed till my brother-in-law and his daughters are out of the house? Oh. Wait, are we on Whoa. different subreddits? I am on A I T A H. Oh, I'm on I'm on R slash Am I the Asshole. That has 17 million members. How many does yours have? Oh, 1.6. This is fucking baby time. <laughs> baby time, baby. Baby time. Oh, this is way better. Now we're fucking cooking. Right? Right? Let's look at this month. What's happened this month? Am I oh, here we go. Am I the asshole for spending my son's university fund on a trip to Europe to drink beer like I always threatened instead of giving it to his stepbrother after he passed away? Yes! Whoa! What? Whoa! Hold on, let me read this story. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wait, my son everyone, was smart. Everyone's saying not the asshole, so let's let's give it a peruse. All right. My son was smart. Smarter than me. I almost requested a paternity test because he was so damn intelligent. That is a joke. My ex and I divorced when when he was about 12. She remarried when he was 14. Uh, I did when he was 16. I had an RESP set up for him. I, I don't know oh, what that that's is. An, that's an education fund in Canada. As long as he went for post-secondary education, he could use the money for anything for anything i always told him that i was okay with him not going to university that way i could use the money i had saved up for him to go to belgium and buy some beer uh from monks that only allow you to buy one case he knew i was joking and he always played along he wouldn't <clears throat> he wouldn't let me get his goat wait when he got accepted you went to belgium to buy beer from monks <laughs> i guess so. this is the weirdest <laughs> sentence <laughs> when he got accepted to McGill, it was the proudest moment of my life. I took him out for a beer to celebrate his achievement and mourn the loss of my trip to Europe. My son was struck and killed by a drunk driver in March. Jeez. I'm dealing with it. My ex is dealing with it. My wife has been nothing but my rock in this. She's holding me up. I was dealing with the funeral arrangements and everything when my ex came to talk to me about his money. She knew he had a scholarship and was... Uh, just going to use the money for living expenses and an emergency fund. She asked me what I was going to do with it. I said I was going to do what I said I always would. I was going to Europe to drink beer. She asked uh, if she could have it for her stepson. I thought about it and said no. Her husband is a decent enough person, but he made it clear that he wasn't responsible for any expenses for my son. Beyond food and shelter and stuff, obviously. Like I said, he's decent. I said I was not... Uh, I said I was not going to do that, that I was going to drink beer in my son's honor. She said I'm wasting thousands of dollars, and I guess I am. I have to give back. Uh, I have to give back the government portion of the fund, but I don't care. My ex thinks I'm being stupid and irresponsible and wasting my son's money like this. Uh, I don't care. My son would laugh his ass off if he knew I actually did it. I okay, think that I actually you're not the asshole. I rescind my asshole. <laughs> 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 I think... Grief is difficult, and everyone deals with it differently, and you do whatever you feel. Plus, yeah. strangers on the internet don't know you, so who really gives a fuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also, yeah. I would also like to point out that I don't know how realistic any of these are, because I don't know if I got into that situation with anybody, that I would go to Reddit to seek validation for anything. Yeah. So, you can never tell if something's made up or if it's real, but this one feels real. My, my thing here is when I originally read the title, I didn't realize that it was, I thought it said giving it to his, uh, oh yeah, his stepbrother. I yeah, guess, I, did, I didn't then, understand the, the hierarchy of what he was trying to say. Yeah, and so she, 
she the ex-wife wanted to use that money to give to her stepson yes. which would have no relation to the original father slash poster of the story so now i'm like oh well it's just yeah it's yes. his money that he set aside for his son why should her stepson get it yes i agree <laughs> brain leak what did they call it when a baby lifts a car to save a mother. A miracle. <laughs> <laughs> when a baby lifts a car to save a mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That sounds like a dream, not a miracle. No, it's a miracle because that's the name of the sponsor. <laughs> Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot, too cold. Check out Miracle's made, Miracle Made Sheets. They're inspired by NASA tech. Come on. <laughs> that sounds more like a dream. Me trying to set it up because it's sheets. No, it's a miracle because that's the name of the brand. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? And you're putting your face on it. It can lead to acne, allergies, stuffy noses. It's just gross. But I've Miracle Made offers. I've been eating in bed all this time, and you saying I'm eating it off a dirtier than toilet seat? I know. And you sleep <laughs> naked, adding more bacteria. Oh, your butt bacteria is all over. Oh, my pee pee. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self cleaning, antibacterial <laughs> bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth and require up to three times less laundry. Whoa. And I don't I know why I'm southern today. Yeah, me neither. I sleep weird. My temperature's weird. I sleep real hot. It's oh, I'm always real self hot. Self cooling properties for better sleep quality using silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA. And you know those guys are sleeping good. Oh, they're sleeping so good because there's no gravity in space, so there's nothing weighing them down. Yeah. Listen, these are self-cleaning sheets. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than it's... other sheets. So if you value yourself and not getting bacteria all up in your pores, then go to <sighs> trymiracle.com slash brain. B R A I N. That's, that's trymiracle.com slash brain. Whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code, promo code brain at checkout, what do they get, Sean? They'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. But, you know, if you're not so sure about it, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Wow. So if you're You'll not 100% satisfied. Refund. Exactly. So, yeah. trymiracle.com slash brain. Go, get sheets, get towel, save your face. <laughs> brain leak. Also, I want to read ones where someone is the asshole. All of these... <laughs> You can see, like, the blue tag under all of them saying not the a-hole. One of them is not the a-hole poo mode. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Poo mode, baby. Poo oh, I'm going to say that from now on. I drink my coffee in the morning. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going poo mode. <laughs> I'm going poo mode, baby. Poo mode going dark. Every morning, I drink a cup of coffee. At least one, usually two. Uh, this is not the an Am I the Asshole story, but it is about my asshole. Hmm. Okay, so as it should be, you know, it's brainly. So I started taking a class recently, hmm. and I had the first the first day of class the other day. And I woke up, and I went to the coffee machine, and I was like, ah, I can't have my coffee today because I'm afraid that I'll have this coffee and then I'll have to poop during class, and I can't do that. Were you afraid of shitting in front of the whole class? Yeah, I was afraid of shitting in front of the whole class. Show and tell. <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> can you go up and show what you, everyone you brought to the class today? <laughs> <laughs> Just dump trow. Dude, hell yeah, brother. Dump if you had to bring trow. something from your house, 
say you were doing a show and tell now, okay? Like, and this is for everybody my out here. age I now think, from this house? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, you are your age now, and you have to bring in something for show and tell, okay? It's it, maybe you're having a get together and the theme is show and tell. All right, calm down. All right. I think this is an interesting thought experiment. Okay. What would you what would you bring in to show and tell about? Are they friends or strangers? Mmm. That's a good question. Because strangers would... is easy. I would just bring like a 10 million subscriber button or like a comic book or my gold record. And like just, <laughs> I have so much shit that I could just be like, I've lived a life, guys. You vain asshole. You fucking piece What of else am I going to oh bring in? Oh my God. The 75 pound berserk guy. And you have to carry him uphill both ways. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the new Sisyphus. <laughs> I would say you're showing friends. Oh, yeah. Then I can't bring, like, play buttons and shit, because they already know that. <laughs> bring a bag of mm. coffee, being like, ask me anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> then, yeah, I would bring one of my Dark Horse Berserk number ones and just be like, this is my favorite manga. Pleased to tell you about it if you are so inclined. What's, What's the circle, sex pal? with a demon on the first page? And you see his butt cheeks. And there's Whoa. titties in on almost every page. If what? You e never told me this! If there's ever I'm big... gonna read! <laughs> 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 this is like the version of like, I'm not much of a cinephile. And then you go to like, one of those websites that tracks nudity in movies. And you're like, <laughs> turns out cinema was here all along. <laughs> turns out I was Wait, watching is... Peak. What is Berserk about? Titties. Brief, brief synopsis. Uh, it's about the depravity of humanity. Oh. It's about like the deepest, darkest depths of humans and what you have to go through to overcome all of that. And there's a lot of evil in the world. And uh. do you go along with it or do you fight against it? Kind of. Your second most recent tattoo is Berserk, right? Yeah. Little, little bay This is called the Egg of the King or the Crimson wow. Bayhillet. And if you have oh. one of these, your utmost dream can come true, which in terms of one of the main characters means that he kills all his friends. And then he does some horrible Whoa. shit that I would need to have several trigger warnings on this episode for. Whoa. It's That's very crazy. fucked up. It's one of those stories where I'm like, everyone should read it, but also maybe not because it, it there's a lot of abuse. <laughs> huh. Should I read it? I I really like it. Do you think I would like it? I think you would like some parts of it. Some other aspects of it can be a bit drawn out, but if you like the mm. characters, then it's good. Mm. Um, but there's a lot of cool shit in it. A lot of titties. You could it's oh! It's one of those things where it's like almost every single female character that shows up at one point, it's like, okay, how long is it going to be until you're completely naked or topless? <laughs> and so then, it's just every single Woman in the thing is just sexualized the uh, whole time. Yeah. L not, not sexualized all the time. But I, I'm i like, I'm fine if you have that much nudity in it. But whenever it shows like Guts or Griffith naked, it's like kind of covered up. And I'm uh. like, you're showing these other characters fully nude. Like, why aren't you showing the guys fully nude? Like, Why aren't you showing the cock and balls? Yeah. Hmm? I want to see some I cock. I think more cock and balls should be shown in media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't uh didn't Barry Keoghan show his cock and balls and yeah, just watch Saltburn. <laughs> I didn't watch that movie. Anyway, uh, what would you bring for show and tell? I was thinking about that. I was thinking And you're not about allowed to say that. Spencer. No, can't bring Spencer to show and tell. Can't bring Spencer to show and tell. What would I bring? To Are you even show? able to think about stuff outside of your immediate vicinity? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, do I have anything that's not in this room? <laughs> it could be something in your room. It could be something. In <laughs> Just room. bring your bring your PS5 and be like, anyone want to play Fortnite? Anybody want to play Fortnite? Come on, we can play no build mode. It's fine. I'll show you my skills, and you can tell me all about what a little bitch you are. <laughs> I think just because it's kind of interesting to look at as a little time capsule, I I think I had them the last time you were here. A while ago, I 
found some vintage boxing magazines at mm. a flea market. So I have some of those, and they're from the 70s. And they're just cool, cool to look through mm. because it's just, a, it's just a little time capsule. So maybe I would bring those. Maybe Back when bring... they were called pugilists. <laughs> yeah. I just like the word pugilist. <laughs> oh, I downloaded this app, all right? It analyzes how much you say like in a sentence no. and it gives you it well it's not only like but it's a bunch of filler words but you can filter it out or you can just do all of them and then it gives you prompts so it gives you 30 second prompts to read and you're supposed to just kind of like forget that you're using it and you have to just talk I don't know seconds. if I would be able and to forget it, and then it tells you all of the all of the things it's crazy how many I did said you like have? a lot um, well, the first time I only had three or sorry, four likes because I was really self-conscious about it. And yeah. then I didn't do it again. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're really fucking shilling this app and then you're like, I barely I use know. it. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Use it once. Anyway. I, uh, paid for a subscription for it and it's probably going to come up in a rocket money ad at some point. <laughs> mm -hmm. It, it was a paid ad or a paid app. Actually, <laughs> I did pay for it. It's not subscription based though. I just realized so I have there. ice cream in my mustache. <laughs> Were you eating ice cream today? I ate a whole tub of Ben and Jerry's before I came on here. <laughs> oh my God. What flavor? Banoffee. What is that? It's like a toffee... Banana cheesecake. You had a whole pint of banoffee? Mm hmm Damn, dude. You're going to be shitting for weeks. You see how strong I am? You see these bones? So much calcium in that milk. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Remember when I was oh buff? My... <sighs> Remember when I was buff? We were both buff at one point. That's true. We should I'm do just... it again. I'm just we a should heavy, do a... fat old man now. <laughs> We should do a 60-day challenge. I would rather 60 die. 60 days is so long. <laughs> what I, about 30? Whenever I see people in movies now that are like, they have poor health and they're just eating cheese and wine, and I'm like, I get it. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I get that. I want to min-max my life where I choose the mm -hmm. path of least resistance and I don't want to move. I don't want to see people. I just mm -hmm. want to play a game and have ice cream shoveled into my face. Yeah. It's yeah. probably because I have ADHD and my brain doesn't work properly and I need dopamine from a different source. But... But... Why can't it be like gym? Why can't yeah. it be like lifting weights or running or something? I don't get runner's high. I don't feel good no. after lifting weights. I just feel tired. I know. I think that the boxing match, which this makes total sense, obviously. The boxing match is the best I've looked in my entire life. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it to people as far as what i had to do every day because i worked yeah. out twice a day it was like a crash course keep track of everything yeah it was so much and i did enjoy it but it's just not a sustainable well yeah you enjoy it because you have an end goal i whenever i work out i'm like i'm gonna look good for this event i'm gonna look good for going away on holiday which I never do. I want to like, it's always like, oh, the Sidemen match is coming up. I want to be healthier and not as heavy so I can run around. And and then that passes and I'm like, dude, pizza's awesome. Pizza's fucking dope. Pizza's sick. I can't figure out what works for me. I can't, I like, I know how to work out. I know what's involved. I can get in great shape in like three months when I need to. But then it's mm -hmm. like, how do I, how do I keep that going? How do I consistently... I think it's just a consistency thing. I think maybe my next goal will be get really fit again and then tone down the workouts just to maintain. See, I thought about doing that and I was like, maybe not just not eat like a pint of ice cream. Like cut out the ice cream and the snacks and the whatever and eat whatever mm -hmm. you want. And I'm like, that just, it doesn't last. My brain doesn't work. Mm. Those synapses be misfiring. Why can't we just work out once and look really good? Why can't evolution just be like, you can do whatever you want, I'll take care of it? Yeah. They need to figure this out. Come Fucking on. Fucking idiots. Uh, Neuralink AI chip in a brain. <laughs> Give it to me. 
<laughs> Give it to me and make me focus good, please. Thank I, you. I, I, I did Neuralink because I didn't want to eat ice cream. <laughs> oh, and man. how did it affect your life? It made me want ice cream more. Uh, wouldn't it be crazy to just think, oh, I don't have to do that? Do you have these these times when <laughs> you're you're walking down the street and you're like, if I step on that crack, everyone I love is going to die. Mm. Or like, if I don't successfully hold my breath for the next 15 seconds, then I'm going to get hit by a car. You ever had that? Yeah, I'm I'm clinically diagnosed with OCD, so I do a lot of shit like that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I have, a, huh. I have so many things where I like, uh oh, I squeezed all the fingers on this hand. Now I need to like squeeze all the rest of them. I oh, like I, I, I do a thing where I like breathe in out out in and then I need to reverse that so it's out in in out. <laughs> oh. I have to do a thing yeah. where I have to like you know how you can go like and you can like move your uvula. Yeah. I'll do that every now and then where I go like and I'll like move it because the sensation like I need it. Huh. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you had had a diagnosis. Yeah. It's a thing like I step on a crack with one foot and then I'm like other foot feels weird. I need to step on the crack. Yeah, weird. Yeah, so weird, I do that. Weird. I don't do it where it's like, if I step on that crack, the world will end. I can't step on any cracks. Like, it's not it's not a debilitating form of OCD. Mm. It's not. I'm not like the, I need to switch light switches off constantly. Yeah. My dad had that, but I don't have it. Maybe in my later years, it's waiting for me. Mm. Maybe. I mean, in my brain, I'm like, I know that this won't happen, but I'm like, well, I just, I can't jinx it. I have to. Have, have you to. have you talked to your therapist about that? No. Hey, maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it'll be my little secret. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I talk to my therapist about it, she'll die. <laughs> yeah. So I can't if... say anything. That's just butterfly effect, isn't it? Oh man. Oh. If I, I eat a... if I eat this butterfly, I'll shit. <laughs> <laughs> butterfly <laughs> effect in action. If I eat a pint of ice cream, <laughs> diarrhea. Butterfly effect. I, the, <laughs> if I eat a butterfly. <laughs> if I eat laxatives, I shit everywhere. Butterfly effect. Baby. Yeah. Well, if, I did, if I didn't eat yeah. them, wouldn't shit. Damn. I had a, a moment in therapy where I caught myself the other day and I went, oh. Just like that, actually. Oh. Where Would you, were my, you pinching one off? <laughs> no, I wish. I <laughs> Then I like ran out when... She was like, all right, well, we're done. And then she called me out on it. She was like, oh, you're getting out the door real quick. And I was like, yeah, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because she was, she oh, was saying. Oh, you didn't call her mom, did you? <laughs> no, no. She was saying, she was asking me, how have, how have your meds been? Have you been taking your meds on time? And I was saying, yeah, no, I've been taking my meds on time. Uh, usually, though, I don't take... Uh, I don't take my ADHD meds if I'm not working. Mm. And she said, "Why?" And I said, "Well, I feel like they're wasted if I'm if I'm not doing work." And then I went, "Oh." <laughs> 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 and she was like, "You caught that, huh?" And I said, "Yeah, that's bad, isn't it?" And she said, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> you don't just have ADHD when you need to do something. I know. You have it. All the time. All it's the time. In, it's in here. I am a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> doctor Han. I am a surgeon. Um, uh, yeah, but I said, yeah, I feel like I'm wasting my medication if I take it when I'm not working. And, and I, I realized and I said, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, I said something I shouldn't have said to you, Mrs. <laughs> oh, therapist. No. Uh, now you're gonna call me out on it, Jane. Therapist, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, but, you know. there's a huge, giant elephant in the room that we haven't attract, we haven't talked about. <laughs> Get out of here, elephant! <laughs> <laughs> I so desperately wanted to do that for Thankmas to be like, there's an elephant in the room. And then Evelyn was like, I'll dress as the elephant. And like, put them in the audience and then be like, just get the fuck out of here! <laughs> um, you should do that next year. That would be funny. But you dyed your hair back and we haven't said anything. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hi, I dyed my hair back. Hadn't said anything about it. But here it is now. I'm so glad yeah. you just recapped what I just said. 
I know, just in case people weren't listening all the way. <laughs> and they went, wait, what did he say? I got you. Don't worry. Yeah, I have had <laughs> blonde slash whitish hair since March of 2022. So it's been over two years and my hair was getting real funky because of the bleach. And I also just didn't feel like getting my hair bleached every month. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Month or whatever. It was just kind of getting annoying. Well, pull the trigger. So said, Did you, you woke up one day and you were like, not today. You put that cigarette out. You put down the whiskey and you were like, mm -hmm. no more. I don't even know. I think I just, I had my last hair appointment and I was thinking, wow, this takes a long time. And then I was setting up my next haircut and I said to myself, what if I just put it back for a while? <laughs> because I did like the white hair. I thought it suited me well. Yeah, but it's a pain in the ass. So now my hair is back to, it, this is not my natural hair color. This is like a, actually a couple shades lighter than my natural hair color. Because mm. my natural hair color is pretty dark. It's like your, uh, it's like your roots. Maybe even a little bit darker than your my roots. My roots are the color of your silver hair. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. But your God-given hair. <laughs> Gear. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Now I'm back to just being a normal guy, I guess. It's so uh, weird because I'm I'm like this close to just letting the gray go. Mm. I'm like, it takes so long to get roots done. And uh, I don't want to be one of those guys that's like, you just have this hard line of gray and then everyone's like, dude, just let it go. I don't want to be that guy. How, it's when very When was the last gray. time you got your roots done? Like two weeks ago. How often do you have to do it? To completely get rid of my grays, it's like more than once a month. Like they grow back so apparent and so quick. I got it done a week later, the grays were already coming back. And I'm like, it's not worth it. You should just be full gray. I know, but I like I like how I look with brown hair. And I'm not ready Wouldn't for- Wouldn't it be kind of cool? Everyone says that, but I don't think so. <laughs> 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 I've thought it, cause it's just, it's just pure snow white, which I think looks a bit weird. But I'm like, I'm thinking about getting it just gray. Because I can't just let it grow out. It would just be a fucking hard line the entire way down. Yeah. So I would just get it like the way you had it, like silver. And then get like a mm. dark bellyage through it, like highlights or mm. low lights. That'd be cool. You should do that. Yeah. Why not do that? That'd be kind of sick. I should. It's just I do that. And then everyone's like, oh my God, his hair is gray. And then to be like, it's not going back. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> People already think I'm old with the way I talk and the way I look and the way I hate certain people. The way I hate. <laughs> <laughs> and the way I vote. And <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the other day, I was just having a very nostalgic moment thinking mm. about old YouTube and stuff like that. And I was just sitting there and thinking, wow. We'll never be back there again. The good old days. Because it's the past. It's the past, you know? <laughs> Unless time is cyclical. And that's true. We could be Which living in is, a never endless loop. If it's cyclical, then A, boring. Uh, number mm. two. Boo. Boo. Who says it comes back <laughs> around the same? You know? Mm -hmm. What if the biggest bongas comes back, sucks us all in, boom. And that's like, oh, our planet's over there now instead of over there. And butterfly effect. All because <laughs> you ate that cheese earlier. <laughs> I ate cheese once, yeah, man. farted in the wrong direction, caused the motorcyclist to crash, killed an old lady, mm -hmm. butterfly effect, yep. universe is ending soon. And you know what? It's fucked up that you haven't been prosecuted for that. Hey, what can I say? It's your fault at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm young, I'm white, and I'm famous. <laughs> I can do whatever <laughs> I want. I can do anything in the world, baby. <laughs> Anything in the world. And if and if they accuse me of it, I'll deny it. I'll yeah, plead the easy. fifth. I don't even think we have the fifth over here. I think that's an American thing. Do you know what pleading the fifth is? It's where you can deny answering questions that would incriminate you, right? Yeah. Because we watched an OJ Simpson thing after he died. And I was like, I should probably know more about this. Dude, he was so much fucking weirder than I thought. His book where he talks about how he killed people, but he's like, nah, I didn't do this. This is just if I did it. Dude, the fact that he had her blood in his fucking car, he he drove away 
after he was supposed to go to court and give himself up and he drove away pointing a gun to his head and saying, I'm going to do it. And then drove home and was like, I just got to see my mom. And then he was wearing the shoes that had the bloody footprints leading from the place. He didn't take his Why fucking would... arthritis medicine so his hands swelled up so the glove wouldn't fit. That's fucking crazy, dude. They found the other glove outside his house. <laughs> and yeah. then claimed a <laughs> cop planted it. It was fucking wild. I also didn't realize how big of an NFL player he was. Meh. Nah. I was like, I knew, I knew he was in NFL, but I didn't realize he was like, he held records for NFL stuff. Yeah, the juice. <laughs> that's um, him. That's him. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And I don't understand who let him write a book from the perspective of himself if he had done it, quote unquote, why would he do that? And then he seeing videos of him read the book. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're just recounting memories. You are recounting a memory. And there was like eight or nine cases of him like beating up his wife. Where she like called yeah. the police and they were like, do you have somewhere to go? And she had like black eyes and cuts and everything. It's like, are you fucking shitting me? No one took that seriously. Uh -huh. And then she was like, one day he's going to end up killing me because he beats me up already and that always leads from one to the other if left mm. un... Checked. Yes. I was going to say un <laughs> unpurified. And I'm like, what are we, fucking exercising ghosts? <laughs> and then he went away and then years later he ended up in fucking Vegas and he made a rap song that's really, really bad. Oh, I haven't listened to the rap and then he song. He robbed someone at gunpoint to steal back his shit that somebody else stole from him. <laughs> and then he went to jail for that. Dude! <laughs> anyway. OJ Simpson, everybody. Yeah, but that's how I learned about the fifth, because people mm. were pleading the fifth. Yeah. The racist cop played the fifth a lot. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy, crazy. Anyway, time. that's the American dream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, become a superstar. Murdering someone and getting away with it. That <laughs> is the American dream. <laughs> yeah. Getting away with murder is a lot of people's dream. Oh, man. What would you do if the purge was legal? If the pur or, well, if the purge happened? Tappened? Yeah. What would you do? What I do you would do? lock myself inside my house and hope that nobody ever comes near me. Mm. You wouldn't there do a cool little crime? No! You wouldn't I, steal from the book fair? Dude, I'm afraid to go out legally. <laughs> hmm. I'm afraid to go out and make phone calls and talk to other people legally. In case I make I a fool a of crime. myself. <laughs> I think I'd do a crime. What would you do? Did you know that it's illegal to... Um, what's it called? What's it called when you... Indecent exposure. No, no, that would be fun too. But uh, when you put... Insider sheep, trading. When you put sheep into... a a paddock? Charging? Charging sheep? Huh? Herding? Herding? No. Where are you going to find sheep in LA? Uh, hold on. What's it What's it called? What's it called? What are you trying to say? Use your words. I can't. I just can't. Hold on. California. Wait. Wait. Chastising sheep. sheep. Drive sheep. Drive sheep. Driving. Driving sheep. You drive sheep. Okay, anyway. Like when um, you move them from one field to another? Yeah. In Hollywood, it is illegal to drive more than 2,000 sheep down Hollywood Boulevard Boulevard at one time. Whoa. So you can do 1,999 sheep. You could Actually, you could do 2,000 sheep, just not 2,000 Who's counting sheep. the sheep? You're down know. there with like 1,500 sheep, and they're like, ah, that looks legal. I kind of want to... I kind of want to get a bunch of sheep, 2,000 sheep, and pull out this law and have a cop come up to me and say, hey, you can't do this. And I'll go, actually, this is less than 2,000 sheep. You realize so. that the purge makes everything legal, so you're walking down with sheep while someone's just going to shoot you in the head. No. The cop comes up and stops gonna... you and is like, instead of just explaining this to you, I'm just going to lay you out. <laughs> well, hold on, though, Sean. Hold on. Because hold why on. would they... How? Who? Who? Only a fool would shoot me in that scenario because if they kill me, where are the sheep going to go? <laughs> They're going to go crazy. If there's no one there to control these Hollywood sheep. Hollywood Boulevard, Chinese theaters ruined. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if, what else they, is there. <laughs> if they're thinking, they'll say, oh, we can't shoot this guy. I'll be invincible because they don't the want sheep the sheep to get up. out of control. Uh-huh. The sheep will rise up. And at that point, because the law is more than 2,000 sheep, I will have amassed tens of thousands of sheep that I'm driving down Hollywood Boulevard. Mm. Hollywood Boulevard is, is very, very big. <laughs> you said Boulevard? Boulevard? <laughs> I can't say the word. What is happening to you? <laughs> Nothing. It's a normal day for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a bunch of sheep. Bring them down Hollywood Boulevard. This is gonna be good. That is a more it's unique good. one. I want to like piss in public mm -hmm. in places where it's not legal. Like public? Oh. <laughs> What if I what if I burn the American flag, huh? Is that, that illegal? That is illegal, I, I guess. Is it? Yeah, you you also can't say like make a direct threat to the president. I can't, feel like many people have made a threat to the president. Yeah. How do you, but you can't like How do you differentiate you a joke? Say, I don't know. Are we going to get arrested if we say it in this even jokingly? I don't think so because it's a joke, but if you were to say like I want to kill the president. You can't say that. Damn. But in this, this is for context. Don't take this out of context. Ethan's going to jail. Do you want to know the dumbest laws in Maine? Sure. I can tell you. After January 14th, you can be charged uh, a fine for having your Christmas decorations still up. Mm. In Maine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Waterville, Maine, it's illegal to blow one's nose in public. Mm-hmm. Huh? In Port in Portland, Maine, where I grew up, it's un it's unlawful to tickle a woman's chin with a feather duster. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Who went around? The great tickler of the the East <laughs> went around and tortured women all across Maine, and then they were like, uh, "We got to outlaw so this good. shit." In New Orleans, in Louisiana, you cannot tie an alligator to a fire hydrant. <laughs> that seems fair. I understand that one. Mourners at a wake may not eat more than three sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> You've had your fill. Get the fuck out. So th th I'm looking at a list of the dumbest laws in each state. I think all of these are just extremely old laws that are just, they just never got rid of them. And so it's not like you're actually going to get charged with these things. You could, though. In Indiana, it is against the law to pass a horse on the street. <laughs> <laughs> That's not up to you. <laughs> well, no, the horse can pass you. You just can't pass the horse. Oh, so if you see a horse, you have to stand still. <laughs> yeah. And like red light, mm -hmm. green light, just be like clip, clop, clip, clop. Okay, he's gone. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Ooh. If any person has a puppet show, wire dancing, or tumbling act in the state of Indiana and receives money for it, they will be fined three dollars under the Act to Prevent Certain Immoral Practices law. <laughs> These are weird. No one may catch a fish with his bare hands. <laughs> when you guys talked uh, about the right to bear arms, that wasn't for fish. You gotta what? shoot them in a barrel. Back in 1924, or back in 1924, a monkey was convicted in South Bend, Indiana of the crime of smoking a cigarette and sentenced to pay $25 fine and the trial costs. Did the monkey represent himself? <laughs> I don't know. How you can't you can't do that. Can you right? can you I don't know if you can prosecute a creature that can't understand what it's being prosecuted for. Right? But you can prosecute someone else on a creature's behalf. Like remember, I think it was also a monkey. Or something like that. Somebody prosecuted somebody else on a monkey's behalf because someone took a photo of it without the monkey's consent. Do you remember that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Monkey photo consent trial. This is like, trial. I think it was in Scotland. Some guy trained his girlfriend's dog to do a Nazi salute and then he got convicted. Whoa. Monkey selfie copyright dispute. Between 2011 and 2018, a series of disputes took place about the copyright status of selfies taken by a celibus crested macaw. Uh, or, yeah, macaw, monkey. Mm -hmm. Using equipment belonging to the British wildlife photographer David J. Slater. The disputes involve Wikipedia Commons 
in the blog Tech Dirt, which have hosted the images following their publication in newspapers, blah, 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 blah. In July 20, 2011, a dispute over Slater, Slater's objections that he holds the copyright and people for the ethical treatment of animals, PETA, so PETA sued this person, who argued that the copyright should be assigned to the monkey. <laughs> Slater, because it was a selfie. <laughs> Hold on. Let me <laughs> let me send you the photo of this <laughs> monkey. <laughs> this is the selfie of the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Slater, you that so he good. is. He has a valid copyright claim because he engineered the situation that resulted in the pictures traveling to Indonesia by traveling to Indonesia, befriending a group of wild macaws and setting up his camera uh, equipment in a way that a selfie might come about. Uh, Slater stated in August that as a result of the pictures being available on Wikipedia, he had lost at least 10,000 pounds in income and his business as in, and his business as a wildlife photographer was being harmed. That is Damn. so well, funny. You know Wait, what they so say, hey, monkey see, monkey do. I know. Monkey pee all Wait. over you. Wait, so did the monkey win? In 2017, Slater said he was no, no longer motivated to take photographs because he had become depressed and that his efforts to highlight the plight of monkeys had backfired on my private life and ruined <laughs> his life. <laughs> Damn, those monkeys <laughs> fucked him up. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's crazy. So Damn. did he? Who won the monkey selfie? Who won the trial? monkey case? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was uh, the court issued its ruling in favor of Slater, the photographer, finding that the animals have no legal authority to hold copyright claims. Hmm. Take that, Peta. <laughs> <laughs> so Peta sued this man on a monkey's behalf. Because the monkey took a selfie. Hey. <laughs> the monkey, the, the world's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> in Iowa, a man with a mustache may never kiss a woman in public. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what about full beard? If it's detached? I think you would be able to fight that. Because Loophole. I wouldn't say that you, I wouldn't say that you have a mustache. I would say no. that you have a beard. My right. facial hair is all connected, so it's a beard. If I uh -huh. cut these parts, I have a beard and a mustache. When was the last time you had a mustache? Never. <laughs> no, you should do it. What would it take? I don't know. My dad had a mustache, so I'm like, I don't want one. Come on. I think it looks good on Come other on. guys, but I'm like, I don't know. What about a cool handlebar mustache? Ooh. That'd be kind of cool, right? Yeah, Ace Ooh. of Spades. Yeah, that'd be kind of sick. I should, yeah. Mm. I wonder what I'd look like with the gray hair and a mustache. <gasps> Wait, do you dye your beard also? No. Oh. I have huh. I have gray hairs growing into my eyebrow right now. And I have like a little gray patch coming in here. Or here. I see the little gray patch. Oh. It's nice, I like it. Father time makes fools of us all. Mm hmm He's catching up to you, Sean. Did you know in the UK it's prohibited to be drunk while managing cattle? That's like really? the sheep thing. Why? I don't know. How don't, drunk? Don't drink and moo. What's, it, this what's the legal limit for cattle? I don't know. For working with cattle. This law was put into place in order to prevent accidents from happening and keep people safe. I wonder if it's the same as drinking and driving. It's illegal to slide on icy streets. Oh, but that's fun. Yeah. Do you think if someone gets, what what would a DUI be called with cows? Ooh, a BUI, uh -huh. bovine under the influence. <laughs> Do you think that you have to blow before before <laughs> you're taking care of the cattle? <laughs> He's like six point two. Oh. No. Ah, oh, shit, I can't. 6.2. Somebody's going to point out now that that's like, <laughs> you would be dead if you blew a six. You would be unbelievably dead. I don't know what breathalyzer limits are. What's what's drunk? You don't know what the legal limit is? I don't have a license, so I've never had the, I've never known, I've In, never been breathed. I don't know if it's the same in the UK. In 
the what do you think it is? I think it's like 0.8 or something like that. 0.08. Oh. So, so 6.2. Dude, you are alcohol at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 6.2? Wouldn't that be the equivalent of your body just like being a beer? <laughs> like, <is> the... <laughs> um where are we oh yeah everything is point something mm -hmm. if it's you are point, oh. i don't know what weight i am in pounds i think i'm like 145 or something mm -hmm. or like 150 i can't remember but oh this is confusing 0. 0.03 what oh this is how much you get number of drinks in one hour 10 drinks get me to a point 28 Dude. point 28 is stinking drunk Oh boy, dude! I would love to challenge someone to blow a six. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dead in the morgue. What would you have to do? A I feel like the only way you could do that is if you put ethanol in your mouth and then just spit it into the machine. A BAC of point three seven to point four one can cause alcohol poisoning and death. Not even reaching one. Not even reaching one. So what yeah. you're saying is that there's a chance. <laughs> I guess there is a chance. There is a chance. God, 6.2. Anyway, <sighs> in the UK, if whales or sturgeons become beached, they need to be offered to the reigning monarch. <laughs> 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 oh, your majesty, this sturgeon has become beached. Therefore, we have brought it to you. We have brought it to you. What would you like us to do with it? All right. Put it back. All right. Well, all right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. This uh, law oh. dates back to 1322 when Edward II decreed that the head and spermaceti of a whale should be given to the king while the rest of the carcass belonged to the finder. So this is another one of those mm. laws since the 1300s was like, this has never happened. So we yeah. don't care. Well, Sean, here's a question that I have. You know, I was like, we should read a couple of Am I the Assholes? And I think we only read one or two. Should we ask Which our... Which shows that we're the assholes. <laughs> that we're the assholes. Should we ask our our leaky friends to tweet us some Am I the Assholes of their own? Yeah. Like you had a fight with your friend over something. Mm-hmm. Or you stole someone's child. Yeah. Anybody stealing children out there? Hopefully not. But you can tweet us... Why don't you use the hashtag... Hashtag, am I the leaker? Yeah, um, that's good. Maybe. All right, all right. And good then uh, maybe next week we'll we'll read some of those, tell you if you're an asshole or not. <laughs> Spoiler hmm? alert, yes. Yes, you somebody, are. Somebody Sorry. pointed out last time that instead of saying trigger warning, you were like, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, <laughs> or spoiler <Yeah>. warning. <laughs> you just start yelling spoiler warning and then start saying weird shit. <laughs> uh, I did see that comment. That's good. That's funny. I mean, it makes sense. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Namaste. I'm gonna stay mean? these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> 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 <laughs>